Before we get into this, I seriously cannot believe that I've been playing guitar this long since 1989 and have played consistently live in some capacity for the majority of those years. I don't know how I went that long without going wireless. I am holding in my hand, well, my hands, the Boss WL20L wireless system for guitar. And in this video, I'm going to show you just the basic connection and how easy that is, also how to charge it. But then I'm going to go over several scenarios and ways that you can use this system. It's pretty cool. Now, a quick note again, this is the WL20L. There is a WL20. Now that version is for passive pickups, but I've got the WL20L. This version is made for active pickups. I've actually got a funny and sort of <laughs> embarrassing story. I'll save that for the end of the video, so make sure you hang around for that. All right, so let's go over the basic setup real quick. And this is like really, really easy, which is great for people like me. So you've got a gray piece and you've got a black piece because you're probably wondering like, which one goes where? So the gray piece actually has a little sticker here that says to sound system. So it tells you where to put it, which is awesome. So this you would plug into your amp or whatever sound source. And then the black piece, that's gonna plug into your guitar. So let's plug them in real quick and do a little demonstration. So I've got the black piece here. I'm gonna plug this into the guitar. We've got my good old trusted LTD M1000 Deluxe, which you guys have seen on countless videos. So yeah, that's in there just like that. And now we'll plug the gray piece right into the amp just like that. And you'll notice here, as soon as I plug that in, you'll notice that the lights light up here. You've got a green light and a blue light. So we know we've got power. Now with that, there's also a light on the piece that goes into your guitar, the receiver here. Okay, so that little green light is on. And I should have showed you guys this when I plugged it into the guitar. This light came on actually before I plugged the other end into the amp. So this way, you know there's power or you know there's you know at least going to be power. You know it's working. So these are good little indicators to have. Now let's turn on our amp. Let's test this out. <laughs> Charging the Boss WL20L, extremely simple. So you just plug the black piece into the gray piece there. It's got that input for you. That allows you to charge this thing at the same time. You can charge them individually. That's about a three hour process. Charging them together is about a four hour process. So there's no reason why you wouldn't want to charge them together. Plus I think they like being together. Anyway, so next you plug the cable into, I always forget what these cables are called, this end anyway, you plug this into the gray piece here. And this, by the way, comes with the product. It comes with the Boss WL20 wireless here. And of course you plug the other end, the USB end, into your laptop or computer or whatever. Now when fully charged, this should last you for about 10 hours. And I don't know about you, but I've never played a 10 hour gig before in my life. I think the most mine are typically about four hours when I'm playing my acoustic gigs. If you want to, okay, you can charge this in between sets. For example, I often bring my laptop with me, especially for acoustic gigs, because I like to play some music on my breaks. I'll have my computer running through the board, and if you really want to charge it in between sets, you know, you could plug it into your computer and do that, but I don't really think there's a need to do that. Just remember to charge it in between gigs. All right, so we kind of went over the first way you can use the Boss WL20 already. We plugged it directly into an amp. However, in a real world scenario, you're probably not gonna be plugging a guitar directly into your amp. No, because we use pedal boards. So I wanna show that scenario to you as well. Now, of course, this is very simple. Obviously, you're gonna plug the transmitter into the pedal that you would normally plug your guitar into, but I wanna show you this anyway because we like to show our gear and it's just cool to see. So let's go through this real quick. And then I'll tell you about the first live scenario that I use, the Boss WL20L which is with the setup that I'm showing you here. So the pedal board you see here, uh, my chorus and delay, that's going through the effects loop. So you can just kind of ignore that. 
However, the pedals that I have running directly into the amp, into the input there, are my noise gate, and I've got a classic distortion pedal. These are both MXR pedals. So I would normally plug my guitar into that distortion pedal. However, in this case, I've got my Boss WL20L transmitter plugged into that, and of course, the receiver is plugged into my guitar. So really easy. I mean, it's the same as plugging it into an amp. Instead, you're just plugging it into that pedal that you would normally plug your guitar into. And this is the exact setup that I had a few weeks ago when I used the Boss WL20L for the first time live. I was actually hosting a guitar clinic at Replay Guitar Exchange, and I know a lot of you caught that already, but if you didn't, I'll leave a link up here so you can go catch that. That's a pretty cool video. Now, I've also used the Boss WL20L with my acoustic playing live, and actually, I just played two gigs over this past weekend. I'm filming this on a Monday, so I'm kind of tired from gigging. I had a gig, a three-hour gig on Saturday at a local winery, Keel and Curly Winery, and then I turned around and played another four-hour gig on Sunday, Easter Sunday, at a really cool place in Valrico, Florida called JF Kicks. So I used the same setup here for both gigs, and this will be what I use for ongoing gigs because this worked out really, really well. So I've got a very, uh, very small pedal board, different pedal board setup here than for my electric gigs, uh, but this is the Fishman Tone DQ. Okay, that's running into my board, my soundboard, and then connected to the Tone DEQ is a looper pedal, and that's where I have the transmitter, the Boss WL20L transmitter connected to. And then, of course, I've got the receiver connected to my acoustic guitar, and I've got Freedom on stage. <laughs> Now you may have those scenarios where you're not plugging into an amp and you're not using any pedals, no effects or anything like that. You just want to plug your instrument directly into the board. And a good example of this is maybe you're just playing acoustic and your board has some onboard effects and they're good enough. It's got a little reverb delay and the board sounds decent enough to just, you know, strum your acoustic through for maybe a small gig or practice or something like that. So as you can see here, I'm plugging this into a Mackie Pro FX 10 V3, I think is what this board is. So I'm just plugging it directly into the first channel there and I'll connect the receiver into my acoustic guitar and I'm all set up, I'm ready to go. Now, I actually use that setup several times a week. I have all my PA gear downstairs, kind of off to the side in the living area, and my wife and I, we practice two or three times a week because she sings songs with me on my acoustic gigs. She's up there singing a couple with me now, which is really, really cool, but it's just one less cable I have to run, and then I've got the freedom to walk around with my acoustic if I want to. Like, let's say I wanna go get a beer or something like that, or make a glass of water where I can just kind of walk my guitar into the kitchen and come right back out. No cable needed. There's one more scenario I want to show you real quick. I'm going to plug the transmitter, the Boss WL20L transmitter, into my studio interface. All right, let's see if this works. Lights are on. Now there's one more thing I need to show you and actually show myself before I tell you the funny story about my initial experience with the Boss Wireless system. So I have not yet tested this on a guitar with passive pickups. Remember, this is the Boss WL20L for active pickups. There is a version called WL20 without the L on the end. You remember we talked about that in the beginning. That's for passive pickups. So, I don't know if this for the active pickups will work on a guitar with passive pickups. Let's test it out.
It works. That's awesome. So I can play all my guitars with this wireless system now. That's pretty cool. All right, so now the funny and kind of embarrassing story behind my first experience with wireless systems in general. Remember, I've never played with a wireless system until recently, <laughs> until I got this. So at the time, I didn't realize there was a version for passive pickups only. So I ended up taking that version home. And of course, I made this decision to go wireless right before a pretty big gig that I had. And that gig required, I say required loosely, it was best that I played the songs with the guitar uh, with active pickups as opposed to my one with passive pickups. So anyway, I was unboxing this live on YouTube, which some of you may remember this. <laughs> and then someone asked me in the comments as I was live, I was getting ready to unbox this thing. They're like, hey, did you get the one for passive or active pickups? And I'm like, uh, crap. <laughs> I got the wrong one. <laughs> so instead of taking it back and trying to get it, you're like, you know, because again, the show was just a few days up. I was like, ah, screw it. I'll just, you know, I'll just play with the cable and I'll go take it back and exchange it for the right one uh, next week or whatever. So anyway, that show <laughs> that I played, I literally almost tripped over my guitar cable twice. And that's never really happened before. Now, this is a pretty big stage and I was wanting to move around a little bit. Hence, I wanted, you know, a wireless system. So anyway, lesson learned. I went back and I got the correct version, the active, the Boss WL20L for active pickups. Now, what's cool is again, this thing works with passive guitars as well. So if you're gonna get this device, uh, me personally, I recommend getting the active version of that. I mean, if you just have a guitar with passive pickups and that's all you're playing, that's all you do, then you know, get the one for passive, that's fine too. I don't know if, that there's any harm in using the ones for active pickups with a passive guitar. Uh, if there is, please feel free to leave that in the comments. Now, one thing I did not mention in this video, and I'll put it in text down here, I didn't mention how far apart these can be from each other, meaning how far you can walk away uh, playing guitar with your transmitter connected to the amp or wherever. Uh, I've not tested that yet, but again, that was down there on the text. So I haven't had any issues with it. And of course, I don't really like travel that far beyond my little spot anyway because a lot of the stages I play on are uh, they're, they're fairly small some are decent size but they're fairly small uh, most of these are like local gigs and stuff like that now I don't have anything I like to be transparent with you guys I don't have anything to compare this to because uh, I've never played through another wireless system but the folks at replay guitar exchange you guys know I, I've been building a relationship there and shooting a lot of videos there uh, they recommended these over everything else that they had so again it's the boss WL 20L and really really awesome wireless system again I've used it several times and I wanted to use it several times before I gave an actual review and demonstration for you guys I wanted to make sure that I had used it in several different scenarios like I have and I'm in love with these things seriously <laughs> it's like the best music purchase I've made of 2021 I won't play without them if I can help it so guys I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts below. If you're using this wireless system or maybe a different wireless system, uh, let us know about that in the comments. I know we all chime in and it's just cool to talk about gear and, and see what you guys are using as well. So yeah, leave those in the comments. And if I missed anything on here, uh, please feel free to leave that in the comments. Or if you have any questions that maybe I didn't cover in this video, leave that in the comments. And guys, thank you so much for supporting my channel, supporting my music. There's links in the description of this video where you can go to my shop and buy my CDs, my merch. There's a PayPal donation button. Those are some ways you can support me, and I absolutely appreciate that. Guys, until the next video, as always, keep it metal.